working on an old school range. Got a couple of stove burners that aren't working. And this is why. I'm going to turn off the power to the range. This looks like it's been repaired before. They probably should have used ceramic wire nuts instead of these plastic ones that just melted. I'm still not sure if this is a loose connection issue or just the fact that these wire nuts were used. I'm gonna start taking these burners out and undoing all of the screws on the back panel of this range as I will be replacing this stovetop assembly with the wires and all. I just need to remove nine wires, the two burner wires from each infinite switch. Gonna take a mental picture of where the wires are. And also I video this stuff so I can always refer back to that or just read the wiring diagram if available. Luckily these stove tops are very easy to remove once you got the back wires unhooked. It kind of just snaps in at the back and lifts up at the front. I've got to clean all of this mess up before I install the newer stovetop, the working stovetop assembly. So I can at least get this looking almost as good as new. Luckily, the property I worked at today was extremely good at saving old appliance parts when they replaced them with new appliances and they had a fully intact stovetop. Just had to swap out the tension clamps. Not much to putting the stovetop back on, just feed the wires through the hole. Line up the tension rods into the hole and just snap the back part in. Hook the wires back up as they were before. It doesn't matter which order it goes in, but it does matter which color goes to which switch. Once this is all buttoned back up, gonna throw some new drip pans in there before installing the stove burners. Stove burners just push in and then push down and attach to the drip pans. We're all hooked up. Time for a quick stress test. Turn them all to high and let that sit for a couple of minutes. You can see the two stove burners that weren't working for a while are now working and we got heat. This fix is done.